Welcome everyone to the fifth episode in the first season of the Minnesota United crew mode in England where I've simply taken Minnesota United and put them into the championship and I've also put them in alongside AFC Richmond who we will be facing off against later in the episode but before that we do have some players joining the team from the Youth Academy. First off is Trevor Tremblay, Canadian, Canadian attacking midfielder. There's nothing really all that special about him. Christian Allen, however, is a six foot three defensive midfielder who I might switch to center back just because of his sheer size. So, be interesting to see what ends up becoming of him. Matt Clark is just an extra backup goalkeeper who has long throw in trait. Again, I don't know how a goalkeeper has that. Come on, EA. Pierre Lewis is also joining, just extra goalkeeper depth. But before we obviously have that game against AFC Richmond, we are hosting Millwall in the league, and here's the lineup, switching things up a little bit, because these are actually our backups, backup goalkeeper, right back, center back, left center mid, striker, right winger, so, got a little bit of a backup sort of system in here, but I think they can still get the job done, here are the highlights. Hayes. Oh, they have it again. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Great opportunity. He had to score, and he does. Beat the first man. Couldn't keep the ball. Decisive pass. He might be able to make it through. There it is. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. And he did well to cut it out. Moving it forward. Must be. It's a corner. Playing it in. It might still be problematic. Really bright looking attack. Surely. A goal. And I'll tell you what. He takes aim, determined defending, and a goal! He's... Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. Gives it a go! Another goal! Atmosphere is always good inside that stadium, and two very good teams. Is it going to be? Well, last gas defending, but brilliant defending. Franco Fragapane. Can he find the right pass? Tremendous ball played through. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And there's the delivery. And he clears the danger. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Chance to finish. And he's made it a brace. So we ended up losing the game 5-3, to three, but Bradshaw was just unstoppable. There was no chance of us stopping him, so just have to take our defeats and move on. To face off against Ted Lasso's AFC Richmond at Nelson Road Stadium. I put them in here because why not? It's just an extra chance to do some crazy wacky things. But we are back to playing our strongest 11 in our 4-2-2-2. Expect a big game from Reno. So got a lot of rest last game. So he's fully fresh. But thankfully so is most of the squad. Here are the highlights. This is looking threatening. Could be. 
That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Playing it in. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Well, smuggled behind for another corner. And a goal! An early boost. Well, the supporters think it's on. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Reynoso. They might be able to get in now. Opportunity it is. It's gone in! And well, he might... Regain the ball, which has made them so hard to play against here. And it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. This looks threatening. But well, they could run onto it here. Oh, a moment of pure Keep the ball. Lovely ball over the top. No worries for the keeper. Losing possession. Can he finish? And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Takes the shot. Making sure it didn't get past him. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And second time around. And the cross into the middle. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? And I'm hearing in my headphones there's been a goal at Bramall Lane. Alex Scott? Yep, it's a goal for Sheffield United. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. They're back level. It's one all with just over ten minutes left to play. Cheers, Alex. And it's a double for him. No doubt about the victor there, Kevin Camper. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door, as he did then. Campbell. Now with Guerrero. Chance here. Well, body in the way. And the keeper, no. Lawrence. Will trap. Roma Metanier. Committed challenge. Guerrero. Quick ball almost on along the ground. Oh, it's in! So we ended up winning this game 5-3. Nice to get on the nice side of that type of scoreline. It was really 5-1, but they got two goals late. But who really cares? We absolutely showed up. However, expected goals were a lot lower than theirs. Again, I don't know how FIFA calculates this stat, but it never seems to be correct. But in the league, we're now currently sitting just two points off of a promotion playoff spot, which is pretty good. Yeah, in the league, uh, mixed results, two wins, two losses. Next month is uh, quite the busy month. Definitely going to play against AFC Richmond again, but I don't know what other game we're going to play. But there's a lot, of, a lot of games to choose from. I mean, eight games in a month. That is less than ideal, I'm not going to lie. But we do have a week off after what seems to be that first wave, so I think maybe we'll play against Blackburn. Who knows? That'll be coming out in the next episode, which is, should be a little bit interesting because I am now starting to try to really figure out what we need for the next transfer window because still have, I think, $10 million in the budget, so got a decent amount of money that we can go on ahead and spend. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed. For more FIFA content, check out the links below in the description. And I'll see you all in the next video.